Hey there, hope all is well. Sometimes we need to deal with different environments like development, production, staging, demo, and so on. And sometimes we need to set different app icon, app name, and even heading different API URLs. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about um, how we can handle this with Xcode schemas. So first things we need to go to um, the project itself under, under info uh, tab and set uh, the configurations for our environments we will gonna uh, set um, configuration for two environments one for development and one for production Well, after that, we need to manage the schema. So we need to go to the product schema and manage schemas. And after that, we need to add two new schemas, one for development and one for production. So let's start with dev. We can rename it dev schemas demo and click to edit to change the build config. Let's pick up for run build configuration. Since we need dev debug and for test we need we need to choose or select dev debug. Also for profile it's dev release analysis it's dev debug and archive it will be dev release. Then we need to back to manage a schema and add a new schema for production. So we can rename it prod schemas demo. And we will do the same. Go to edit and it change this to prod release. This is for prod debug production debug and this production release this is should be production debug and this is production production debug as well then back to schema now we have the default one which is local one for dev one for production now we need to change the bundle uh, settings so um, bundle id for every schema we will go to the target and go to build settings under and try to search for bundle id So we need here, we need to um, change some bundle identifier for uh, every every schema. So here, for example, for the debug, we can rena rename it to debug. And here it will be dev. This is will be dev as well. This will be production, and this one is production. Also, we need to update the active compilation conditions as well. We will add, we will first, we will search for active compilation this one we will found different condition here we need we need to add um, flag conditions for example for debug we need to add 
local because it's local one and here we need to add div for release we it will be dev as well here we need to add production just prod and here prod next step is to change the app name for example, if we need to set different names uh, to the um, every environment, so we can do this as well by adding a user defined setting and call it app name, for example. And here we can set any name. Uh, any app name we need for every uh, schema so exact for so for example here we can set it to the bug app or anything actually and here we can rename it the dev development app Here will be development app as well. Here we can rename it production app and here will be production app as well. After that, we need to add this um, app name to the MVP list. So here we, we need to um, add a new row and select bundle name and this string should be the app name, right? Let's try to run the application and see what exactly happened. Yes, here it's a production app because we are on the production schema. If we uh, change it to dev and run again. And now we have a different app name for different environments, one for production app and one for development app. The next step, we need to add different app icon depends on um, the environment one for production and one for, for development i already added here uh, one for pro to pr represent uh, the production uh, environment and one for dev to represent uh, the development environment so what i actually need to do is go to uh, the build set settings and search um, search on uh, the icon So for now, all the environments set to app icon, which is this one, we need to set the production, uh, this um, app icon prod to the production uh, environment. So back to this and set it to the production environment for this and this. So we need to change it, this to be app icon pro and this is app icon pro and let's run the application and see the result okay this is for dev so icon um is it cha is it changed and for production let's do select the production schema and run the application and see the result oh 
Awesome. So we change the icon, we change the name, and um, the next step is if we try to access different um, endpoints, URL or API in the, or any other uh, custom configuration, we can add the configurations file and do some um, custom info field list and try to access the configuration through the info dictionary. So let's um, let's get started and do it. For things we will go to add new file and select the configuration, which is configuration strings uh, settings uh, file, and we will create two uh, config file, one for production and one for development. So let's n rename it or save it as development. And we need another one for production. What we can do here is we can set different endpoint URL and for production we can make it for example it's just an, an example maybe um, like this and fruit.com we need to do the same for um, development and state fruit we can rename it dev just uh, this for um, testing purpose right so um, we can rename it configurations next step we need to um, add a new um, info peel or peel list for development and one for production but this one, I, I rename it to development, uh, from info to development. And I want to add um, the endpoint URL here, which one we already added here. Okay, so let's back to development, into the root, it's this one. And this is string will be after that we need to create another one uh, for production right so um, we will copy this and rename it for production to that we need to change the paths uh, for and uh, p lists and the build settings so here we need to search um, search for p list this one and for debug this will be development This will be development as well. And this one will be production. I just need to run to make sure that everything is okay. Okay, now we uh, linking schema with build configuration and all this stuff. Um, so one more step we can do to access endpoint um, URL with coding, we can add um, a helper file here, which call it environment. 
Let's do it like this. And mainly, oh, it's helper. Okay. And with mainly, we can add uh, enum for info plist keys. And for, we, we just, for now, we just have um, an endpoint URL, right? So the case of endpoint URL and the value for this will be endpoint underscore URL, right? So let's do it like this. And here we will return endpoint underscore URL. This is will return string. And we can add a struct. For environment. And here we can add um, a dictionary after that we need to guard let if this dictionary or if info dictionary has a value so we we check the bundle dot main dot info dictionary if it has value, so we will return this dictionary. Otherwise, we need to um, make error message or um, add a fatal error to just inform that this plist is not existed or something went wrong or stuff like that. So here we will do a fatal error. Maybe something went wrong. Plist is not is not found. Otherwise, we will return this section right. So um, yeah. After that, we need to uh, do the configuration for the key, specific key, for example, for endpoint URL, we need to return uh, its value. So we, we will do it like this. We will make it public and call it configure. For key which is info info p list enum and this is actually where we turn a string we will switch on the key and basically we, we only have for this example, we only have endpoint URL as I mentioned before, so we will display it as endpoint um, URL and it will return dictionary of info list p list key dot endpoint URL dot value and we need to casting to casting here to the string and what actually we need to do is when we go to view the load 
we can print endpoint URL as environment dot this is will be info plus dot endpoint URL of and just we need to make sure that everything is sitting here for info yeah we need here to um, assign a specific or the destination schema uh, to this so for the bug this will be development this will be development and for dev debug and dev release this will be development as well. And for production or prod debug, so will be the production. And for prod release, it will be production. What we can do uh, here is call the m dot config and some key here will be info info p list to endpoint URL right so with this just print and then run. And because we are in the product schema, it printed um, the URL or endpoint URL for prod. Let's try to change the schema to dev. And yes, for dev, it print um, the endpoint URL for dev. So to just recap what exactly um, done in this uh, video for things we set different uh, app name and also different app name and different app icon and we set custom configuration to set, set custom stuff uh, to different environments and yeah that's all for this video thanks for watching and have an awesome day